Once upon a time, there lived some birds in a jungle. The jungle was above from the sea level. The season of winter and spring was good, but in summer there was scarcity of water. Birds had to leave their homes and go far in summer. Summer was approaching, and the birds were getting very anxious. Brothers, summer is coming. And this time, the eagle of the nearby forest will not even let us enter there. I heard he is very cruel. She preys on other birds. Yes, brother, I also heard it. We have everything except the water. If the water problem gets solved, we would not have to go to another forest. It is not easy to come and go in every season. Peace that is available in one's own home is not available anywhere else. Yes, brother, we have to think about its solution. I have a plan. Today we will fly in the forest and see if we can see a spring or a stream. Then we don't have to go anywhere. Wow, that's a great plan. We all friends will act upon it. Spring and river never gets dry. Next day, they did preparation to fly above. They flew in circle, but didn't find any river and spring. So they returned home disappointed. Guys, don't lose hope. Today we will go on the other side. Maybe we'll find any place. Peacock brother is saying right. We don't have to lose hope. We will go again tomorrow. Next day, they also left in search of water. As they went a little above, a naughty eagle started following them. They all ran away to protect themselves. They all went astray. Suddenly, they realized that they were flying upon the river and became happy. Chino Sparrow lives nearby. She was drinking water from the river. Suddenly, she saw the eagle. She hit the eagle with a stick. Eagle got scared and returned. All birds came down. They were tired and thirsty. Chino gave them water. Are you okay? Do anyone need more water? Thanks God, you all are saved. Otherwise, this eagle is very dangerous. She never lets anyone pass from here. By the way, my name is Chino. I live near the river. Thank you, Chino sister. We would have been dead if you wouldn't help us. Chino sister, thank you so much. But we forget the way to our home. We came out in search of water and finally we found water. Can you help us now? You don't need to get worried. This place is below the northern jungle. We also live in northern jungle. But yesterday, we didn't see this river. Nearby jungle is very dense. That's why this river is hidden. And you can't see it from above. All birds from nearby jungle came to drink water from here in summer. We also came out in search of water. In summer, we had to leave our house because of water. We didn't know that this river is very close to us. Otherwise, why would we leave our jungle? All birds were happy to find water. They became Chino's friend. She feed them. When they finished eating, Mr. and Mrs. Crow came there. Kalu realized that they came there in search of water. Oh, who are they? Chino, sister, you didn't tell us about your guests. Yes, Kalu brother, they are our guests. They came from nearby jungle in search of water. You know, summer is here. That's why they were finding water. Hey birds, I will say everything clearly. If you want to take water, then you have to give some grains. You will not get anything free. We are living here for many years. That's why this river is ours. We will not give you water free of cost. Mr. and Mrs. Crow, behave yourself. It's our good luck that we live near the river. Otherwise, this water is a God's gift and everyone have rights on it. Anyone can take water from here. You both are wrong. Kalu took Chino to the other side and started whispering. 
अरे चीनू सिस्टर यू आर सच एन ईडियट यूज योर माइंड लिटिल बेट What's wrong in this? If we get some grains for whole summer in return of water? Kalu brother, you are wrong. These birds gathered all the grain with lots of hard work, and you want to take it by deceiving them? This water is God's gift to us. Keep your thoughts clean, please. If you have any issues, then mark a limit on the river. But from my side of river, anyone can take water. I don't have any objection. Kalu and Kali Crow went back and she told the birds that she didn't have any objection they can take water as per their need but only from Chinu's side they all became happy they took water from there regularly Kalu and Kali Crow was not happy on the situation they make different plans to get grains from birds Kalu i have an idea you will get happy after knowing it By this we will get grains for summer and we'll get rid of this chino. Then Kali took Kalu to Eagle and they asked her for his help. Eagle sister, we come to you with a purpose. We all will get benefit from it. Chino Sparrow has made our life hell. We want you to make her your prey. In this way you will get your food and we will get rid of her. Wow! Food comes at my home on its own. I have never tried it at a loss. I will have to conspire to eat Chino, but you both came to my house on your own. Why not I make you both my prey? Forgive me, Eagle Sister. This is not in the plan. Kali did this all. She brought me here. Please eat her and let me go. Kalu you are very unfaithful i didn't expect this from you you don't even think about me once foolish woman it's all your fault you brought me here you suffer now i'm leaving when kalu talked about returning eagle killed them both they both got punishment they made the plan to kill chino but in the end they became eagle's food On the other side, Chino did a good deed and got many friends. Now they came regularly there to take water and also went to Chino's house. Chino was also very happy with her life. So kids, moral of the story is a bad deed always brings punishment. See you in another video.